Alright, welcome back to Holy Fire Defense. Today I'm going to do a shotgun haul because you guys seem to like these shotguns. So they're all 12 gauges and we're going to get into all these guns. I'm going to start off with the famous KS7 that you guys seem to like so much. Got this. Some people are asking when I shoot it, they're thinking that this sight I put on here, the scope is up and fall off. It didn't. If you watch the shooting video, it doesn't fall off. This is a KS7, 12 gauge, good gun. Seems to be the most popular gun. Like I said, it seems like everybody likes 12 gauges, so look at these. So that's the 12 gauge KF7. This is the Maverick 88. Now with this, I put the quad rail on it. It's called an Aces quad rail. I got it from... Valhalla Tactical. It's like $150. I put this on here. It's nice, you know, it makes it look tactical. Um, you can put anything you want on it. Rail right here to put on this one. And of course, this whole thing. Yeah, so I got that to put on the Maverick 88. looks good nice tactical all right that's the Maverick 88 this is the 590 I put a little mini rail on this you can see it shell holder on this side Yeah, so this is the 590 Mossberg. It's always a good gun. Good home defense, good everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with these guns, with the Mossbergs, whatever you're going to do with them hunting. And then, of course, the other one you guys like, the VR80. So I took the um, Vortex sight off of it, and I put, like I have on the AR, uh, a sight mark M spec because like I said with the um, AR I like it because it's quicker you could you could zero in quicker you know and it has this part right here you see you can pull this back it's like a hood like that so you could look through it like that yep it's the VR80 All good guns, the automatic one, but they're all 12 gauge. You know, I like my twins too here. I can't really tell the difference, just the different rails I put on it, but as for the Maverick 88 and the 590, it's just with the Maverick 88, you're not gonna have this bayonet at the end to put the bayonet on, the adapter, but pretty much the same kind of guns. Yeah, these are my twins. So for home defense, all these guns are good. All 12 gauge, all shotguns, all good. And this KF7, this was pretty much the most expensive because of all the add-ons. Yep, so this is my 12 gauge haul. It's a little quick video to show you the shotguns because everybody likes them so much. Yeah, all good home defense guns. I recommend you guys get these. A lot of people probably have the Mossbergs. I don't know how many people have the VR80. How many have this, but you gotta, you gotta get one of these. If you like shotguns, you gotta get one of these. Automatic, boom, boom, boom. Got the, and these guys, like I said, I want to go shooting clay pigeons and all. I just put the stock back on it. But for home defense, I keep them like that pistol grip. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. 
Uh, if you watch my videos, it seems like I get a lot of views, uh, but not that many subs. So these are all the shotguns. I need to take them out one day and just take all of them and just get to it. That would be a good video. Shooting clay pigeons, shooting everything. But yeah, these are all good to have. So, if you're looking for a home defense gun, any of these are good. Any of them are good. I like a variety because with home defense, I don't know what kind of house you live in, but if you live in an upstairs, downstairs, it's like you always want access wherever you're at because you don't know when, where somebody coming or when they coming in. So you need to make sure you know you got your house mapped up well. Always check out the points of entry, wherever they may be, where you think it's like, if you all you gotta do is step outside your house and look at it and be like, okay, just think yourself, where would be the easiest way for me to get into this house? And you gotta think like them. And always keep those points of entry, guard that entry. Whether it be the back door, side door, front door, windows, side windows, whatever it may be. And uh, I think I'm going to do a video on that too. Because um, the other night, all the power went out. And it was pitch black. But luckily, most of my guns got lights on them. My pistols, my Glocks got lights on them. Uh, this uh, VR80 has lights on them this KS7 does the Maverick does and believe it or not it comes in handy because when it's pitch black let's say let's say somebody cut your power and all your lights are out you ain't got time to go searching for flashlights or that. you need to grab your gun and have your light and be ready to go and make sure you got those points of entry you know on point you got them guarded and make sure you talk to your my kids know if I tell them go like hurry up go hide they go immediately because I want them out the line of fire go get up get up the stairs go go quick so you got to work with your family on you know being ready for any type of situation that might happen and just be honest with you when the power went out on my Glock my old light I didn't charge it all the way so when I'm coming down I'm looking around after about a minute the light went out and I felt real stupid right then because I was like, I'll never let that happen again. So now I keep everything charged, all the batteries on point because it could be an instant just, just like that, boom, and you got to be ready. So I, I was upset with myself because to me, that was a big mistake. And that's not a mistake you could afford to make when you're in a situation like that. So you got to be ready, you know, so call me whatever you want. But if my lights go out, I'm going on on point automatically because I don't know what's going on it could just be a power outage but how do you know see that's how people get caught because they just sitting there thinking oh it's nothing it's, you don't assume it's nothing always assume it's something so that way you'll know you know what I'm saying that you're doing what you need to do at that time because if you just like brush it off oh it's no big deal I don't need my leave your gun wherever you left it and come down and boom 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 you're done so you got to be on point so I was just sharing that with you because when that happened, I was like, man, I got to get it together. So, yeah, you got you to gotta be on point, ready. Um, if you're coming through the house, if you're hitting corners, you know what I'm saying? You got long guns. You got to be careful with that because you don't want your barrel sticking out so far that it's leading you all the way where somebody can grab it, not like slap it down, whatever. That's why I like with the pistol grip, I can keep it back. It's kind of short back, come around the corner like, you know, and with your guns, your, your pistols, you see on the movies, people have their guns and they're coming down the stairs. They're all like this and they're have the gun all way, man, keep it, keep it kind of close to you so you can. You could be on it because you don't want it extended too far out when you're in close quarters because they could grab it snatch it they could be sitting right around that corner if you come around the corner you want to be able to shoot you don't want to be able to like and they just knock the gun out your hand snatch it from you so in those situations you got to be careful and be ready to go you got to be on go you got to be on go 24 7 because there's a lot of people out there lurking 
And why they lurking? They're waiting for somebody like you that isn't ready, that isn't thinking about it. You going out, oh, I'm going to dump my trash. I just watched a video the other day. Dude was going out to dump his trash. And two little young kids with masks on ran up on him, put guns to his back, tell him to give him the keys to his car. And he was just emptying them the trash. So when you're going out to empty the trash, man, watch your surroundings. Look right, look left like you're crossing the street. You've seen the cars this way, that way. Look both ways, look around, check your surroundings. Now you're saying, oh, that's like extreme. Look, this guy was a regular guy. He wasn't doing nothing wrong. He was just emptying his trash. And here they come out of nowhere. So you got to be on point 24-7. It's not a game. It's really not because your life could depend on it. You know, it's God who gives you the increase. It's God who protects you. You see what I'm saying? But you got to be ready too. You see what I'm saying? You got to be ready. So, like I said, just, you know, be careful, everybody. Just be careful because a lot of stuff's going on nowadays and it's, uh, it's dangerous. A lot of stuff, prices and stuff are up on everything. So people, some people out there, they starving, they hungry, they don't, they don't, you know, whatever. So they committing crimes to get money, whatever it may be. But whatever you got going on, me and I know you guys, we're not trying to be your victim. You see what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So keep your guns ready. You know what I'm saying? Even like I said, if you checking, you dumping trash, checking the mail, you just got to be on point because it's just the kind of world we live in now. It's just the way it is. It's the kind of world we live in. Uh, nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. And you know the odds are uh, stacked up against us. You know, the laws are pretty much made for people who follow the laws. They're not made for people who don't follow the laws because none of that applies to them. Oh, you can't have this weapon. You can't have that. People that break the law, they don't care about none of that. They're going to have every illegal thing you could think of because for them, they get caught. It's all the same. they living on that type of level. But us, we have to be careful because it puts us in a predicament. We're trying to follow the law and at the same time defend ourselves. So we got to be that much better that much more alert, that much more quick. You see what I'm saying? We got to be capable. We got to be equipped. We got to be trained, whatever we need. We just got to be, we got to be extra because criminals don't have to be extra because they got everything in their favor. So not trying to go into a big spill, but yeah, just things I was thinking about I wanted to share with you guys. But if you don't have one of these, get one, get them all, whatever. Make sure your home is defended because if somebody busts in your house, you're not going to, and they got guns, most likely they're going to have guns. You can't defend them off with a butter knife, a butcher knife, a baseball bat. I mean, you could try, but I'd rather have an equal playing ground and know your house. See, they're coming into your home. You know your house. You know the spots. You know the places that, you know what I'm saying, you could take cover. You know the places where you could pop out and, and take out the enemy or whatever, the intruders, whatever it may be. Just make sure you know your home. Make sure your kids know what to do. And uh, if you have a wife, make sure she know how to shoot because you never know. You know what I'm saying? If they get through you and you're in one part of the house, they need to be able, they should have to be able to get through her too because it should be like, you know, doubled up. It should be a blockade. So just if you have a wife, make sure your wife can shoot. I don't care if she's scared of guns. I don't care about none of that. Because all these people that are anti-gun, they're scared of their guns, all this other stuff. I'm telling you, when somebody's trying to rape them or kill them or rob them, at that point in time, I bet you they wish they had a gun. I bet you they wish they had something. I just watched another video, a pregnant lady, dude jumped out the car, had a gun or a pistol whipped her husband, and she had her gun, and she pulled out, boom, 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 dude was on the ground. But if she didn't have that gun, she could have ended up dead with a baby in her stomach, her husband could have ended up dead, so it's serious, it's real serious, holy fire defense, like and subscribe.